thing to have uh, baptism. And it's just we've been long awaiting this day to see Carl get in here. Amen. We're not quite ready yet, so um, I'll just speak for a second. You know, um, Carl has been growing so much for all the time that he's been here. Here, he, Carl doesn't stand still. I mean, he already knows more than most Adventists. So I'm really thankful to see him doing this thing. <coughs> and for John to be here today, too. And we Okay, can I have a uh, battery mic, please? church and all the things that God allows me to be able to be a part of, this is the greatest. There is nothing better than to be a part of seeing somebody give their hearts to Jesus Christ and, and to be baptized. Carl came to the church and apparently he liked what he heard and he liked the people that he was meeting. But one of the things that I learned about Carl very quickly was he was very intelligent and he had a good understanding of the Bible. But he wanted to increase that knowledge and understanding. One of the things that I liked about Carl is that he likes to study. And that he likes to participate in studies. And if you've known Carl since he's been here, Carl will participate. He'll give you his wisdom and share with you his uh, understanding, what he's learning, what he has learned. Carl, you've gone through uh, a lot of the stuff that's in the library, is that right? Yes, I have. Have you uh, gone through the, the CDs and tapes from, like, Pastor Board? Yes. Um, now I'm having a brain delay here. Who's the other guy that's in there? Walter Weiss. Walter Weiss. Have you learned from those? From both, yes. Um, what made you come to the Adventist Church in the first place? I started searching the internet for different uh, subject matter on religion and I found some different sites with the Seventh Day Adventists and um, I came to the truth and the knowledge that the Sabbath is the day that God wants to be worshipped and so I found this church and when I found this church I knew in my heart that this was the church that God wanted me in. Amen. And so I praise God and I praise Jesus and I praise the, the blood of Christ Amen. that saves us all. Amen. And I thank you all and I thank you, John. And John, I'd like to say that all those people that I've listened to, uh, the, the tapes, uh, Pastor Moore, uh, Bythe, all of those are good uh, teachers, but you're right up there with them. <laughs> and I'm sure that everyone in the church will agree. Amen. Let's hope this doesn't roll the wrong way. That would be so bad. What I want you guys to know, and I want you to know this from the bottom of my heart, if you would have asked me if I would have ever been in a church, let alone a pastor of a church, I would have thought you'd be crazy. 
never doubt what God is able to do with a person. Never judge them from the outside because if you would have seen me before, you would not have accepted me to be a part of what I'm doing today. God is gracious, God is loving, and God is powerful to change hearts. And Carl is a testimony to God's power. And Carl, because you love Jesus Christ, come here. Carl, because you love Jesus Christ and you want to make a public commitment of your love for Jesus Christ, it is my honor and my privilege to be able to baptize you in his name, to be able to share this special day with you, and to know that, listen, when we get to heaven, when Jesus makes this world new, the friendships that we have here now, the commitments that you guys have made, will last through all eternity. And Carl, I look forward to be able to stand with you side by side at the very feet of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit that I baptize you today. Okay, now we're going to have uh, special music. And this is a song that Carl requested. of Canaan, Ellen G. White's vision of heaven is the source of a core lyric to the language of Canaan. The Lord showed young Ellen Gold a beautiful picture of heaven when she was 17 years old. Yeah. 
showed me of heaven, I cannot describe. I saw their tables of stone, in which the names of the multitude of the redeemed were engraved in letters of gold. After we beheld the glory of the temple, we went out, and Jesus left us and went into the city. Soon we heard his lovely voice again saying, Come, my people, you have come out of great tribulation and done my will. Suffered for me. Come in to supper, for I myself will serve you. We shouted, Hallelujah, glory, and entered into the city, and I saw tables of pure silver. It was many miles in length, yet our eyes could extend over it. I saw the fruit of the table of life, the manna, almonds, figs, pomegranates, grapes, and many other kinds of fruit. Then Jesus said, You must go back to earth and relate to others what I've revealed to you. Then an angel bore me gently down to this dark world. Sometimes I think I can stay here no longer. All things of earth look so dreary. I feel very lonely here, for I have seen a better land. world. 